Good morning, welcome to Chris Parking Shooting Sports. We're here at Doncaster Racecourse for the Yorkshire Shooting Show in the Nijinsky Suite where I'm appearing to do question and answers at uh, 11 o'clock this morning and 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, Sunday too. So we shall uh, have a look around. I've got a projector, but I won't be using that. We've got quite a few seats and uh, Andy's here. Andy Cullis here to lend some moral support. I might even get him to chip in if anybody poses a PRS question. It's uh, fairly clear uh, what most of the people have come to the show for so far. Because most of the booths are empty yet. Yeah? Highland Outdoors are keen for me to review some of these new P3 recharged air rifles. So they've got these in FAC and sub-12 specifications, so we'll be getting one of those hopefully quite soon. More element optics. This is one I haven't reviewed so far, but I'm sure it's So there's two versions. This, this is the. Yeah. I'm looking around the Sportsman Gun Centre stand, and I don't think there's a great deal in the rifle or air rifle world I haven't reviewed. All the CZ457s there, CZ600s are here, there's a 457 there as well, and a load of FX rifles. And I think I've done pretty much most of them, but that one looks new. This is Pantera Hunter Compact. I think I might have one of these on the way at some point. So we shall see what those are like. I'm still after my crispy boots. They've got my name written all over them. Here we've got Optics Alley. We've got Leica. We've got Zeiss. And we've got Swarovski as well. It's on a vortex here. Mr. Stutley's here. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Chris. Mountains of clothing from Ridgeline, and we all know about my liking of orange. We got lots of other handy gifts as well, handy accessories, webbing belt, skinny school caps, binocular cases, all sorts. Rifle bags here from Ridgeline too. And of course there's Rovin's clothing, which is all uh, anti-tick. DPT moderators always seem to get a lot of attention on my channel because people comment on how quiet they are. I do have a few of them and they're certainly compact and I'm quite happy with you. So uh, we'll carry on with those for now and see if we get any more sent in the future. These stocks have just uh, popped up on the DPT Europe stand and Bill's been telling me about them. They're carbon fibre, made in New Zealand. They've got no blowholes, anything. They're phenomenally light and they're going to be available in all sorts of different inlets for Remy 700, etc. Uh, this one's actually a ticket T3 in there. Well, coming Seikos and all kinds of things like that. They are phenomenally light and the price hasn't been confirmed yet, but it looks very, very attractive, to be honest. Um, the adjustable cheek piece, I think, be an option and it's got a really nice recoil pad on it which isn't too spongy but it will absorb all the recoil and that is going to make a super super nice sporting rifle. Apologies because the light at the show is not the best possible for filming but this has also got the option of having a Picatinny rail fitted in the forehead and that is going to be really really popular for bipods especially the most modern bipods that don't fit on a sling stand. I've just reviewed this Savage carbon fibre uh, rifle for Gunmark TV actually and it's actually pretty impressive to be honest. It's one of the best uh, carbon fibre rabbit, carbon fibre barrels I've ever used. But I want to get to detailed time with some of the Savage tactical rifles because these have got full adjustability, all sorts of parking rails, they've got barricade stops on them. But I want the straight pull one and if you remember I actually reviewed a straight pull Savage rifle before the importance of the UK changed. So that was in the sporting format, which was very nice actually, I liked it a lot. But I'm itching to try one of these. I have actually shot one when I was in France earlier this year, and I might shoot one again when I'm in America later this year. But I want to get one on my terms and on my time. 
so I can use it how I want to use it. I really want to be doing some more with the uh, Sightmark night vision and some of the Vixen air rifles from AGT. Oregon 2 from AGT was quite a nice rifle. Sight mark have also got a lot of regular daylight optics too. I've actually had a lot of success with Ruger rifles of all sorts of variants over the years. But um, I did the American Rimfire years ago. This is an American Predator Centerfire. And I'm feeling the need to want to review one of these because they've got an awful lot going for them. And they're also very, very good value for money. I mean, when you look at the price there, £775, and that's sort of RRP, so you never know what your dealer might have it for. I'm going to get one of these, maybe a 223 or a 308 or a Cream or something like that. Uh, upwards here we've got the takedown. I did a takedown years ago and then we've also got various newer formats of the 1022 which you've probably seen in review. But what I do need to get is one of these, the ATI Strike Force Adjustable. Because this has got folding stock and all sorts. You never know, I might have one of those as well. That is Trek in green. We've got a lot of different fix and handy trigger options in here, as well as some Zerma actions. But the one I'm really interested in is this one is the Rim X action, and I'd really like to see one of those built to a rifle.